Hi guys, welcome back. Sorry for the disembodied voice. There's not much point doing an intro separately to this. We're just going to crack on with our uh, carburetor rebuild. Now, it's all come up quite nicely, I think. It's all clean. All the orifices are clean. Blown them all out. All good. There's very slight discoloration still in some hard to get to corners. But it's only petrol discoloration, there's nothing uh, crunchy or nasty. Uh, the only thing of note really was the hole at the bottom there, which goes up and feeds the enrichner, was a bit crusty. I don't know if you can see that. It wasn't blocked, but I managed to get most of that out, so it's nice and round again. So, I ordered a kit which has arrived. It's a genuine SNS rebuild kit, but it's only the small one. And frankly, I'm glad it's only the small one because it cost a bloody fortune for what it is. I was stunned at how expensive it makes buying parts of AMAL carbs and things, Del Autos, I bought bits for, look absolute bargains. But anyway. That's what it is. So we get a new piece of overflow pipe. We get a couple of O-rings, which I assume is one for the carb and one for the uh, spacer that fitted between the carb and the uh, inlet. We've got carb to air filter gasket, I assume. We've got our main carburetor gasket. And then in a little bag, we have a new diaphragm spring three blue o-rings, a new float needle valve and a rubber uh, boot which protects the accelerator pump rod I assume. I won't be changing that because the one on mine's perfect. So there we go, that's what you get. I think that was £52. So not cheap. But then again I suppose Nothing for a Harley is, and it's got to come all the way from America. Anyway. So, what should we start with? I don't know, whatever I can find in my little box. Have our enriching device, which I cleaned up. It's very good. Just very, very minor scuffing in the... Uh, plating but it is very minor so I won't be changing that so that goes in there with this little spring just nip that up there's probably a a proper method to put these back together in a sensible manner but I don't know what it is so I'm just going to put it back together as I pick bits out of the uh, box. And ultimately, I don't suppose it really matters that much. So we have our main jet stack, which I've got rid of all that horrible crud that was on it. Again, there's very minor marking in the brass, but nothing to bother me, really. And I've blown everything out to make sure it's all clean. So it's going back in, which goes in there. No, wrong spanner, right spanner. Nip that up. And what else have we got in our little box of tricks? We have a drain bowl. Now, the kit didn't come with a new O-ring for there, but that's in good nick. So I think what I will do is just give it a little smear of rubber grease, just to help it seal. Probably a complete and utter waste of time, but hey ho. Can't do it any harm because it's rubber compatible and it hopefully will help it seal if that o ring is slightly worn, but I don't think it is. I should have got the right spanners out before it started. 
but I didn't. Knit that up. Good. And then we have our union. Difficult to show you this, I think. But we mentioned before the seat in there, right in the centre. Try and get the screwdriver in. Just in there that the float sits on. Well, I used a cotton bud ear, ear type with the metal polish to clean up that, which now seems perfectly good. So the float has got somewhere decent. I think you can see that shinier. So the float now has somewhere decent to uh, sit on. Good. Union, which again has a little o-ring around it, which doesn't come in a kit. But again, it's complete. So again, I'll just give it a light smear on the rubber. Excess will be wiped off in one second. Can't do any harm, that's for sure. Right. And then we have a, our float and its pin, which again I've cleaned up. It's not ridged, which would stop the float moving. So again, I'm quite happy using that. So we will have to, oh, I'm going to check the float floats, which is the other important part, which it does. But to check that one is cleaning the carb. So we need to open our little package of goodies. Because we need our new needle valve. Right, there's our float. Which floats? I checked. And that's got a Hook on there like that, our new little pin, not pin, needle valve. The pin's got to go through there. And then all of that's got to drop in there. Yeah, good. Yep. And then there's a little screw. Come on. which does not want to start. This is strange, threads are good. You little tinker. Sorry about this. I don't understand why that's not starting. Let me just take that out and double check. There we go. Right, well, I'll leave that in and try fitting it by sliding the pin underneath it. That goes in there. Can we get the pin underneath it? Yes, we can. That saves me taking it out again. There we go. That's good. Slightly awkward to get that going then. Don't know why, but it was. Right. I will check float heights in a minute, but that all appears good. Okay, what have we got else? We have our idle mixture screw and its spring, which goes in the top if I remember rightly.
Now then, I need to wind it down. That's all the way in. Now, I have to refer to my previous video to find out how many turns out it was. And I can't remember, I'll have to look. So I'll just set it half, one, one and a half, and it'll go from there when I check. So there's not a lot else. We have our other jet, which again has been cleaned, blown through, everything's bang on. Just to go in there. I'll tighten down. Right, what's left? Uh, I think that's it. So it's float height. Which I haven't got a figure for. I'll have to go and have a quick look online to find out what the SNS float height is, which I should have thought about before I started pulling this to bits. But as usual, I suddenly decided on a whim to do this now and picked up and started doing it. Back with you one second. Right, I've had a quick look at the SNS website. Should be an eighth to three sixteenths. So with the float valve shut without compressing it too much, I measured that and it came to just about an eighth of an inch. So I'm quite happy with that. No need to change it. If it was going to change it, you just have to bend the tag. Tang is a better word, I suppose. Bend that up and down to get your float height, but I'm happy enough with that. So that's that. So going back to the top half, we need to fit our gasket. Get it the right way round. Is that right? Yes, it is. Right, fit our gasket. And then I think that's it. I think the two halves can go back together. Yes. <coughs> right. Good. So, no, I nearly forgot. This should be our little rubber o-ring on top of there, which I very nearly forgot there for a second, which would be very foolish. Right, now they should go together, shouldn't they? Uh, have I got this right way around? Yes, I think I have. And then we'll, we can put in our three short screws. I can't put the long one in yet because uh, it's part of the accelerator pump mechanism. Well, not mechanism, but it holds the cover on. So I should just tighten these down. Not, I'll only snug them down until we get the accelerator pump built. And then we'll uh, get the long one in place. As long as these are down enough to hold it, we should be okay, I think. I'll do. Right. So, I need to prop this up so you can see it, don't I, really? Uh, let me just check you can still see that clearly. Which you can. Let me see if I can bring you in a bit as well. Right, hopefully that's clear enough now, or better anyway. So we have our rod, which goes down through there and through the rubber boot. And then we have our cover, which is slightly grubbier than I expected, but there we go. Uh, which has a, a recess which neatly matches the recess on the diaphragm. So with the spring in place, uh, that rod, that diaphragm should sit in there, which it does. Good, 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 good. Lovely, fits in very well. The benefit of having genuine parts, I suppose. So that went in very well. Good. And then we have our two chambers, which had a missing 
stuff. So we've got an O-ring for each of those. Yep. And in the back one, yeah, I'm confusing myself here. The back one has a little spring in, didn't it? Yep, that's right. And then a little ball. And the front one didn't have a spring in. It just had the little ball. And then our cover fits over there. Yep, lovely. And then we've got two short screws and a long one. So that's a long one. So short, long, short, good. And then we'll tighten the other three all the way down. I'll just check our long one again because that was in the same bowl. Right. Good. So that leaves our O-ring, which I have replaced already because I did that and the camera cut out as I was doing it. But basically I just used a pick to pick the old one out and a new one went in perfectly well. It's a bit dirty from sitting. Um, so that's it. That's our carb. There was another O-ring in the kit which I thought would be for our spacer. But it was the wrong size. So I'm not sure what it's for because it doesn't fit anything on my bike. But anyway, that is alright on mine. It's still well proud of the surface. So a little smear of uh, rubber grease when it goes on. And that will do fine. So the only other thing then is uh, to refit it, obviously, and to fit our overflow pipe, which should just be a, a push fit over there. Let's see if we can find it. Yes, our overflow pipe. We should fit over there. And it won't. So it's going to need warming up. Right, well I'm not ready for that now anyway because although our carb is now rebuilt and has all its correct internals, unlike when I got it, or is unlike when I took it apart, I'm not fitting it just yet because the shovel head needs a more major issue looking at, which hopefully I'll be able to start quite soon. So I will deal with that next before this goes back on because I'm not going to be running the bike until I fix the other issue anyway. So there we go. That's my SNS carb. It now has all its correct parts. Hopefully the accelerator pump will now work. I'll let you know when we fit it. So until then, thanks very much for watching and hopefully I will see you back at the garage. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Um, I know it's a bit of a random mix, this channel of all sorts of rubbish, but it's just what I happen to be doing at the time. Somebody must like it, I hope, so please subscribe. Thanks again.